Good morning. On this week's episode of Superior Angling, we are out here on Lake Superior in the Duluth area. It's nasty cold outside, windy. They're saying negative 30, negative 40 wind chills. Just fine with me. We're in the otter, nice and warm, going after big lake trout. But first, right here, we are fishing Cisco's, AKA herring, AKA in the Lake Tulabi, all the same fish, but we are set up and we are on them right now. Um, we're in shallower, 45 feet of water. We're gonna fish these fish for about an hour, hour and a half, and then we're gonna move out for lake trout. So again, right now we are in shallow trying to catch bait. These fish are legal to use as bait for lake trout out here on Lake Superior. Again, we're not transporting them. We're not doing anything on that. So check the regulations if you're gonna do that. But if you catch them, you can use them for bait on Lake Superior. So um, that's the plan for today. It gives us an advantage when fishing lake trout out here in the Duluth area. So what we use is a, a jig, a VMC jig with a little dropper down to a um, kind of a, a plain hook with a piece of plastic on it. This is the, the dropper chain treble from VMC with a little um, bead on it. You need something um, larger profile to attract them in, but then you need something lightweight that they can suck in. So um, if you have something too heavy, these fish aren't gonna eat it. So these fish are drastically different than a white fish. Typically a lot smaller and they eat a lot different. So a white fish will suck in a, a heavy lure, but these Cisco's won't. So you have to use lightweight lures and it's gonna be, it's gonna be good. So we have some organizing to do here. We're gonna catch some fish, then go out for big lake trout. It's gonna be a good one. Welcome to season three of Superior Angling TV. Brought to you by Amsoil, the first in synthetics. Nice, set up boy, Busker. That's big, that's a huge help. Get it in, get it in here. Look at that, look at that. Perfect bait right there. That's gonna be a huge asset for us. Once that first one goes, usually they all follow. Should start biting now. There we go, nice, set up boy. That one hit it on a drop down there. We got bait. Other. Look at that. Nice. Fish. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Look at that, buddy. That's so yes. fun on those crappie rods, too. You know? And again, we're using the same rods we use for crappies. Jeez. Just so you have a uh, good sensitive tip, you can feel them. They're very soft biters. Oh, he got off right at the hole. I got one. That away. That away, bud. He got off right at the hole. That's okay. We just seen a couple of these fish. We just need a couple. There you go. And a boy. Nice. They bite super light, so um, very delicate mouths on them. Look at them on the camera. Holy Jesus. cow. There are so many herring down there right now.
drop him. There's a fish. There we go. Yeah, buddy. Such a subtle bite. Isn't it? It's a super subtle bite. So if you guys are gonna come out and try this, you need extremely light gear. All right, we racked up. We have four of them pretty quick. That did not take long at all. That's great to see. There was a bunch of big schools down there. But again, the key to these fish, if you guys wanna come out here and catch these before you go fishing for lake trout is you have to get here early. Get your house set up in the dark. And usually as soon as that sun hits the horizon, that's when these things are on fire. So um, you just gotta get out here early. They're light sensitive. So once that sun gets higher, higher up in the sky, uh, maybe a, a half hour after sunrise, they're gonna slide deeper and you're not gonna catch them. So. Um, you know, at least in shallower here where they are grouped up and congregated. So that's about the average size. Again, a lot smaller than a white fish, um, but, but uh, they, work, they work great for bait. In a way that, another way you can tell um, the difference between these and a white fish is their, their jaws. So a white fish, the top jaw will actually go over the bottom one. And um, that's kind of a, the main distinguishing feature. The other one is that their whitefish is a lot bigger, but these guys are definitely a lot smaller. These travel in bigger packs. Um, they're, always, they're usually always suspended, whereas a whitefish will live on bottom a lot of its life. So um, these guys are in packs of anywhere from, I don't know, 50 to 2,000 fish. You know, they, they love to swim in schools. So they're just swimming around suspended across the lake. And we are in here plucking them off, but um, our, our sun is getting a little bit higher. We're gonna give it about 20 more minutes and if nothing happens, we're out of here and we are going to the lake trout grounds. Oh, oh man. drop down for you, go for you. I don't know. Here he's coming up to me on the camera. Oh, oh he you almost hit, hit, it. hit it. Oh. That is so fun to watch him on the camera, man. Got him. There he is. Yes! Nice, buddy. <laughs> oh, it's that fun. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that is as cool as it gets, guys. Watching them hit under the underwater camera. Oh, come on, buddy. What are you going here? That's a bigger one. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Look at that. That was, that was cool. cool. <laughs> oh, is that fun. This is a big one, man. This is a big one. And again, none of these fish are going to waste. We'll use what we can for lake trout or what we want to for lake trout on our jigs, which might be one or two of these. The other ones, I am gonna smoke up because they are delicious. That's a big one, man. Hey, you could pickle them too. Yep, even. yep, very good, very good um, fish to eat. That's a nice one. Where is she swimming? Oh, could, is that a fish even? Boy, I hear it come. Come on, pause. Look at, look at, look at. There he is. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> you need something extremely light for these fish. Man. Just so they can just suck it in. You know, nothing too, There's nothing too one. big. A lightweight lure is your best friend out here. Look at that. Nice. These Great. VMC dropper jigs are the ticket, man. He engulfed that. There's so many down there, buddy. There are. All right, so we have to be a little bit strategic in our approach here. Yes, this is extremely fun to catch these herring with the underwater camera down there. They're just coming through in big schools. However, we have to watch our time. Yes, our end goal today is to catch big lake trout. Um, so my favorite time for trout in the winter time is 9 a.m. till 2 p.m. So we got to kind of watch our timing. We're going to go back to the truck, load up the truck, and then drive a little bit and then take our snowmobiles out from a different location. So we have about a half hour of travel time involved here. We need to be set up in the lake trout grounds by 9 a.m. I want jigs down, um, maybe 8.45. So I think we're going to pack up here pretty quick and then head in and get on the move and get out to these lake trouts. But that was a good morning. I'm glad we came here. We got fresh bait. We're gonna be in for a good day. It's gonna be fun. Winter is here, and so are the savings on Lund and Crestliner boats at RJ Sport and Cycle, located in Duluth. We are your fishing boat headquarters for sales, service, rigging, and much more. Shop our great selection of boats for a variety of fishing styles, including Lake Superior trolling, Inland Lake Walleye, Panfish, and much more. From tillers to side consoles and full windshield models, we sell them all. Stop in and see us today at RJ Sport and Cycle, located off Miller Trunk Highway in Hermantown. Your way of life means everything to you. That's why we put our everything into fueling. We're here for you. Every moment. Every day. Every season. 
with a dependable propane supply and competitive pricing plans that fit your budget. Superior fuel. Switch and save up to $500 annually on your propane. Visit SaveWithSuperior.com. Hey everybody, it's time to go ice fishing and no place better to shop than Marine General. Ice tents, augers, fish finders and underwater cameras, rods and combos, boots, gloves, jackets and bibs. And the best prices anywhere. Marine General, London Road in Duluth. Come on in to Marine General and get outdoors with us. When we care about something, it shows. To help protect these things, call on the knowledge and experience of a local independent insurance agent that you know and trust. Some things we just can't afford to lose. And that is why we exist. Because the worst brings out our best. Holden Insurance, Duluth and Superior. And here's the nice part about our enclosed trailer from Wittis Trailer Sales and Esco. It makes it quick to move. We're out of here. To the lake trout grounds. We go, I think it's gonna be good. I like this weather. We have high hopes, we have fresh bait. Let's go. All right, we're all loaded up, we're ready to go. We have about a four mile snowmobile ride out onto Lake Superior. We know we have thick ice, we've scouted this ice. It's been here for a while, we know it's safe. However, things can change fast. So to compensate for that, we have the appropriate safety gear and also our striker suits. These striker suits do float, so if something bad happens and we were to go in the water, we know we're gonna float, we're gonna be safe. So usually we don't wear our, our jackets, but we're putting our jackets on just to have that full body flotation in case something tragic would happen. So we're all loaded up, we're heading out, keeping safety in mind, we're getting on. All right, we have made it to the lake trout grounds. Not a bad snowmobile ride, although it is miserably cold. There's one little crack next to shore, so we're gonna be alert today. Yes, we're fishing inside, but we're gonna keep poking our heads out every, every 15, 20 minutes, making sure we're good. Again, safety out here is always number one. Ice is very thick, but with wind, the wind can put, reposition the ice and blow it out, move it. So you always gotta be paying attention. So it's too cold to fish outside. We have wind chills around negative 40 this morning. It's bitterly cold. We're inside the Otter Hub here, set up in what are we in 120, 125 feet of water. And we are gonna now chase lake trout with the bait that we caught this morning. So um, we're just gonna kind of flay it up and put it on a big hair jig like this. So two ounces, um, there's, probably, there's gonna be some current. So you want a heavier jig to stay vertical, but um, plastics do work out here, but it seems like these hair jigs with a stinger hook and a piece of herring is what you need out here. So um, that's what we're gonna, we're gonna dial into. And hopefully um, it's, gonna, it's gonna be a patience game. So lake trout fishing is not easy. You're not gonna come out here and pound them. And you know, not one after another. It might happen one day out of, out of 30, but most days you gotta have patience, you gotta have persistence, bounce your jig right off bottom. So that's what you need. That's what you have to do to get these fish to come in. But um, we're gonna get a baits down there and hopefully it won't be too long before we see one. All right, so this is one of 
the herring or cisco that we caught earlier this morning perfect bait again it's illegal to chop these up and chum however it is legal to cut them up into pieces put them on your jig use them for bait and that's what we're going to do here so what i like to do is just kind of put it down down on there this is my favorite piece it's kind of on the tail here just kind of like you're filleting it just like that i mean that's a good chunk um that's kind of my favorite piece on the on the whole fish another thing you can do is kind of cut um you know perpendicular on its sides so kind of like this you can go like this and just kind of cut some strips like that and that works really good as well again you just need a, a strip or a piece of meat to put on your jig longer and skinny is better and you're going to hook this onto the main hook the main piece of your jig like that and let that part dangle down Sometimes I like to embed the stinger hook into here. So then that stinger hook's not gonna fly up here and get caught above my jig. So, I mean, that's a good looking presentation right there. Um, again, it's just that profile, it's that natural look. Um, maybe a little scent, not too much of a, of a believer in, in scent for trout, just cause they can see so good. But um, again, it's just that realistic profile down there that gets these uh, lake trout chewing. So that's what we're gonna stick with. Yes, you know, other places, just a hair jig or a plastic is going to work good, but it just seems like in Duluth here, I think these fish are a little bit more pressured. We like, you know, a, a, a bigger hair jig with a piece of, piece of meat on there. That seems to, to work the best out here. So let's get down there. Bigger one kept going. Good dude. one. He's right on you, man. Oh, the big one's on me. Come on. It's like you get too much dust though, and they don't like it. There, he likes it up high. Oh, oh. that's a nice fish. Look at that one. Eat. Ooh, that other one coming. Oh, he's gonna hit. What are they doing? It's bouncing off bottom, huh? Yep. Brought it up and just smacked he it. He clobbered it pretty good. Yeah, that was a good hit. Really good hit. Right now, guys, the current is, I bet it's going at least three to four miles an hour. And it's extremely hard to see our jigs. It's extremely hard to have control over anything. This current is just so wild out here right now. It's at 45 feet now. We're probably going to see it here soon. We got clear ice underneath us. Well, there's deep color. Yep. There it is. Not a bad guy. Oh. There we go. That there is a Lake Superior trout. It's cool seeing them on yeah, the camera. It is really awesome. Not a bad fish, huh? Yeah. It's your average, I don't know, average three pounder. Fun fight through the ice. Yeah, for sure. Cool. That's a that's a good one. There you go. Spunky thing. Look at that. I mean, I bet he's already at 60 feet. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> nice one. Again, it's just a game of patience out here right now. Just you just got to sit there and just pound the bottom, and you're gonna have luck. Um, but these fish come through in waves. They definitely come through in waves. And lake trout during the winter time like this are usually grouped up. So you'll have groups of anywhere from two to five fish come in at a time. And hopefully you can pluck one active one off and then it might be you know another hour half hour until you get another couple fish to come through but you just got to sit there and have patience and just wait for them but not a bad one huh yeah, take it Protect your investments this winter with an enclosed trailer from Wittis Trailer Sales, located in ESCO. We also sell cargo trailers, utility trailers, snowmobile trailers, and much more. Did you know we stock a full line of Heinecker snowplows? While you're here, shop the largest selection of Mahindra tractors in the area. Don't forget about our service center, ready to tackle jobs of any size. Wittis Trailer Sales in ESCO, where customers become friends. 
Hey everybody, it's time to go ice fishing and no place better to shop than Marine General. Ice tents, augers, fish finders and underwater cameras, rods and combos, boots, gloves, jackets and bibs. And the best prices anywhere. Marine General, London Road in Duluth. Come on in to Marine General and get outdoors with us. From opening weekend to the end of the season, you want every outing to be a success. Amsoil Synthetic Lubricants provide next level engine protection, both on the lake and on your way to it. Keep your mind on what's important this weekend. Choose Amsoil. Reliable as your favorite lure and as dependable as your secret spot. Visit Amsoil.com to find Amsoil products near you. And now, it's time for this week's Markham Moment, brought to you by Markham Technologies. Where we're situated right now, there's a couple of big boulders about four to five feet tall directly under us, and our lures are down in those boulders. And a lot of times, we can tell because we have the camera down there as well, a lot of these fish are gonna be cruising in throughout the rocks and you're never gonna graph them. Like right now, if I take my lure and I drop it down to bottom and I slowly bring it up, it's not registering on my graph until I'm about three to four, maybe even five feet high, and then I see it on the graph just because it's all dead zone. So when your transducer beam goes down, it's hitting the top of those rocks and it's not getting down to the essentially the bottom of the lake. It's hitting these rocks that are four and five feet tall. And these trout, you know, their bellies are right on bottom or off bottom, maybe about, about a foot a lot of the times as they're just cruising by. And you're never gonna graph those fish. So that just goes to show you, if you're fishing in a spot with big boulders, big rocks, always just constantly sit down there and just pound the bottom. Because you could be jigging up about four to five feet above what you think is bottom, but really you're 10 to 15 feet above the, the true bottom of the lake. And there's big, you know, four or five foot boulders down there. And it's just going to be too high for those fish to rise. Oh, that's a toad. He's going to hit. He just smoked it. That's a better one too. This one came in, we watched it on the camera and just sucked it right in. That was pretty cool. Had a lot of them come in and just look at it. This guy just come right in out of nowhere and just engulfed it. It looks like a really nice one too. Oh boy. Yeah. Holy boys. I hooked into a back of a boat. Busker, you got a big one. I hope he doesn't take my line You got line a big off. one. I'm so nervous right now. This is a monster. It is, Vaughn. It is. It is. And we're prepared for this. We have a big reel, size 2,500 reel. We have the CCI Apex Predator rod, a 42-inch rod that's built to handle big fish. Jesus. Holy cow, man. We're geared up, so we know we're prepared for this fish. I just hope these hooks don't pull. To see that fish come in and eat on the camera, Mind that was blowing. awesome. Mind blowing. <laughs> and he did not hesitate. So that's the thing. You guys just got to sit these fish out. There's not, sometimes there's, there's no lure that's going to work. There's no technique that's going to work. Um, you just have to, you know, sit them out and wait until an active fish comes in that wants to eat. And this guy did. Look at that. Jesus. It's a big, it's a big fish, guys. This is what it's all about. I mean. He took it all back, what I just got. <laughs> oh. Oh, this is why you come out here on Lake Superior when you get a chance. I mean, again, we don't know how big this fish could be. We saw, it, we saw it eat on camera, but it's hard to get a good size, you know, range on camera. But it has this rod just bent. <laughs> See, it, it, right now, if, if we had any other rod, I mean, it would be pushing it to the max. There he goes again. Unreal. I am so nervous yeah. here. Oh, boy. Oh, that's, that's a beautiful a big fish. fish. That's a big fish. That's huge. That is huge. That's huge. Come on, buddy. Come That's a this big way, bud. Let him go. He's yep. not ready yet. That's big. That's big. That's a monster, guys. This might be the chance right here. You going for it? Yeah. 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 That 
is what you it makes it worth it out it. and you work for it all day long, man. <laughs> Husker, buddy. That's I a good one. It. I love it. What a fish. <laughs> Look how dark that is. Wow. That's a heck of a lake trout. That's a good one. On there. a cold day here on Lake Superior. That's a good one there. That's magic, buddy. Look how big that is. Look how big that is. That's beautiful. Oh, I love it. Let's get her back on the hole. Unbelievable. Hey, Jack. I mean, usually this this is the ticket, but you just don't know out here. You just got to keep. So I don't know. To uh, keep yourself from going insane, you got to change lures just to get a little confidence boost, a little different something going on. Here, why don't you hold that? Grab the Bondi. It's called the Bondi Mini Wobbler. I mean, it's a, it's a heavy bait, bigger profile, but they love these spinner blades on the back. Don't, oh, look at them come up right now, man. Oh yeah. Look at, look at, look at. Fish, unbelievable. I just dropped that Jeez. down there. That is magic. A Bondi bait. It was down there for two seconds. You guys have no idea how many fish we have seen down there and how many, oh, is that cool? Look at them right there. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Look at them, look at them, look at them. Oh, yes. <laughs> look at that. That is an ice fishing Bondi bait lake trout on Lake Superior. What a fish. It's been a fun day. It's been a little bit more of a tough day, but you definitely have those, especially in the winter time fishing for lake trout. We were fortunate to get three or four. Nice lake trout. You got that big one. That yep. was a heck of a fish. Um, that's definitely a fish of, of a winter out here. I mean, those are those are big special fish that don't come around that often so it's always nice when you can get out here and see one of that caliber no doubt about it but again it's lake trout fishing it's we saw i don't know how many fish we saw 40 50 fish come by some were chasing us some were just kind of cruising by they didn't care about our lures it was super interesting we put a smelt down there on a plain hook and fish didn't even care about that i mean lake trout are they're bizarre fish and they will drive you up a wall some days and other days you can come out here and there's nothing you can do wrong so again we had uh we had an average day i would you know there's nothing wrong with three or four fish on the ice nothing wrong with that at all um and going you know right away this morning all those all those ciscos man how yeah, cool is that that was really fun <laughs> those huge those huge schools of them that's just, that's just super super cool to see those fish swim down there but again it's been a fun day thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time